Hi, everyone. So God is saying that the kingdom spouse does not have the kind of looks that you are expecting him to have, the kind of appearance that you are expecting him to have. Your king does not have those attributes of being a king. That is why here when you're reading the book of Isaiah chapter 53 verse 2, the Bible says, My servant grew up in the Lord's presence like a tender green shoot, like a root in dry ground. There was nothing beautiful or majestic about his appearance, nothing to attract us to him. He was despised despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with deepest grief. We turned our backs on him and looked the other way. He was despised and we did not care. Hallelujah. So this scripture reminds me of when growing up, you'd find that they are brothers in the house of the Lord and then the woman who they are looking for in the house of the Lord would rather not go for them because they feel like they are not good looking enough, they are not experienced enough and then they would end up falling for the charmer they will end up falling for those that are looking so attractive the players but later when they have been hurt so much by these guys it is those guys that they were rejecting that they want for marriage so god is also saying in this scripture his servant grew up in the lord's presence but was not attractive was not beautiful was not majestic yet he was still the son of god yet he still had authority Yet he still had good intentions for humankind, even though he was being despised, even though no one cared about him, even though he was being rejected, even though he was suffering sorrow, he was suffering grief. He knew that the aim of him being here was to carry our sins, was to be so selfless. So God is also saying that your kingdom spouse is a selfless man in the mighty name of Jesus, but he loves God. He loves the will of God. So may God open up your eyes so that you might not miss the people who are right for you, the people who have been sent by God who don't even meet your standards, so that you might not miss the people whom God has put in your presence who don't even meet the standards. May God open up your spiritual eyes so that you may see these kings, these queens that God has placed right in front of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.